Good afternoon, Lace Jump, and I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Starfield. Where last time, we killed some pirates, found the world's flimsiest jetpack, and made our way here to New Atlantis, the centre of the United Colonies, and uh, thinking about it, I'm really rather happy about the journey we took to get us here. Because, okay, sure, it may look gorgeous and be the bright, shining centre of civilization, but, um... Yes, we've seen their secret black site Terramorph training facility, so okay. Maybe, like, you know, don't entirely trust the United Colonies uh, to be the good guys. They might have a bit of a dark underside to them. But okay, let's not worry about that for now, because yes, RPG Big City means a lot of bloody subquests and a lot of bloody people talking out loud about various problems uh, that just might need solving, so... Okay, something's gone missing from the bar. Need to go and investigate that too, dear oh flippin' dear. Okay, we were doing a lot of looting on the moon. Let's try and offload some stuff here. Try and get the lay of the land for, yes, the economy and whatnot. Because apparently shopping's over in this direction. Ah, but this'll do as a starting point. A helpful public information kiosk. So, I'm going to be honest, I was hoping for a map, but sure, this'll do as a starting point. Oh, now this'll do... Okay, we're Children of Earth. United Colonies is an entity established in 2159 on the planet Earth as a means of unifying the human race as we spread amongst the stars. Our goal was peaceful exploration and colonization, working in harmony with anyone who wished to sail forth across the Blackest Sea to New Horizons. So, uh, 2161, barely after they got started, uh, the Centurus Proclamation, which formalized the colonization of distant worlds uh, for anyone who wished to do so. Uh, but not everyone shared our dream. When war erupted across the settled systems, uh, the United Colonies stood steadfast, protecting humans uh, and their right to fairly colonise. Okay, so uh, I can't help but notice that's a bit vague as to precisely why war erupted and why not everyone shared the dream. So, uh, okay, I feel like the United Colonies is definitely burying something very important in this history lesson. And then, okay, Earth. Apparently, pretty much gone in 2203. So that was, like, just over a century ago. Seriously, why would you name a planet New Atlantis? Like, you know, most famously, sunk into the sea. But, like, even if you know a bit more about Atlantis, like, you know, Plato's thought experiment, it was supposed to represent, like, you know, an imperial power that lost the favour of the gods and was destroyed for its hubris. So... I mean, seriously, do not name cities New Atlantis. You are asking for trouble on multiple levels. And then we've got ourselves, okay, various businesses, and on top of that, districts. So, hang on. I think I saw at the front here. Yes, here we go. Take the Nat train. So, this city's divided into segments. We can get between them using the train. I can't deny, though. I do immediately like this place, you know, big open plazas, fountains, water, lots of lily pads, etc, etc. I instinctively want to like this place, so, okay, just eyes open. There's definitely a dark secret the United Colonies don't really want to talk about that was behind the colony wars. So, here we go, shops. Brilliant. Although I can't deny, I'm getting kind of airport duty-free tourist trap vibes from this here shop. So, right, let's me and you have a nice chat about what you do or don't have for sale. Okay, good starting point. This shop is sitting on a 6,000 credits. So, yes, I have got a lot of good weight-to-value ratio to flog to you. Oh, and I found my Nova Galactic coffee mug. It didn't fall into the wall. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, at some point soon I need to buy a bigger ship because I'm running out of space on my mug shelf already. And I also remembered to put the plants I picked up from, uh, yes, the base's restaurant into my cockpit. So, okay, flying is going to be so much nicer. Now I've got a bit of greenery right by the piloting chair. This is going to be lovely. Oh, and that reminds me. Let's talk all about the things that John didn't really get wrong. He just didn't know yet because, you know, I'm still learning this game as we go along. Thank you to the comments who let me know. I don't have to choose between looking casual and wearing armor when I'm in town. Because I could just set my spacesuit to be hidden while I'm in town. Beautiful. So now I'm just a friendly passing xenobologist, but the armor's still there, the gun's still there. If I like need it, I can pull it out. Magnificent. When I put it away, it just disappears. Uh, same thing is true for the jetpack. That just sort of appears if I need it. Then when the boost is done recharging in just a second, uh, 
there we go. It disappears. I now look super casual. So, uh, okay. I'm really happy that's a thing. Because I like being casual when I'm in town, damn it. I'm a xenobologist. I should be dressed all scientist day. A diplomatic visa? You got to be kidding me. Invoice haven't needed diplomatic visas since the colony war. The law is the law, sir. And that one's still on the books. New Atlantis Security Charter 2308 Addendum Article 2, Section 8. Ludicrous. You made all that up. There is no such addendum. The war ended almost 20 years ago. I am Representative Evans Chisholm of the Free Star Collective. I've been coming here for months trying to ensure continued peace. I don't make up the laws, Representative. I just enforce them. You have a good day now. Someplace else. Have a good one. Okay. I strongly suspect that yes, every time I enter my ship and then come back to New Atlantis, a new event might be occurring right here. Because this is the same spot I ran into, yes, the scientist and that kid last episode. So, alright buddy, I'm guessing you might be a bit more open to talking about the colony war. Did you not hear? They won't let me enter the city. Me, a political envoy who comes here constantly trying to help prevent another war. And this is the thanks I get? They won't let me enter without a diplomatic visa? Ridiculous. So okay, by the sounds of it, yes, as far as the Freestyle Collective are concerned, maybe war's a little bit closer than some people we've been just running past in the street might anticipate. Any chance I could help, by the way? Oh, really? <laughs> and here I am biting your head off. Apologies. I'm just, well, rather flustered. Look, if you have time, could you please go to the Freestyle Collective Embassy? and speak to a diplomat, they'll know what to do. All right, I'm happy to do that, though. Okay, any chance you could just, you know, maybe see your way to tossing over, like, not even that much. Let's say 100, 200 credits. <sighs> Fine. Seems like I'm at everyone's mercy today. I'm really sorry about this, okay? I've just got a mortgage and two parents with very expensive tastes. Okay, despite the lovely architecture and fountains, yes, I'm becoming increasingly suspicious of the UC. Because, uh, chatting to the officer, who was just giving the representative the runaround, uh, buddy, you could just have let him in. It sounds like, you know, he's got a good reason to be here. I mean, yeah, sure, I could have. And I could say you assaulted me. Because that's what having power is. Now why don't you go take a walk? Okay, I'm getting increasingly dystopian vibes from this place, actually. Okay, back at that lovely shop, and yes, it looks like on occasion shops are going to sell legendary weapons of some description. On this occasion, that's actually pretty good. 10% bonus damage versus humans. Well, we shoot a lot of humans, and that is a bloody lot of mods on the damn thing, too. On the other hand, it costs almost 10 grand, so okay, leave it for now, it's fine. And by the Luxie of it, yes, I'm not currently wearing a hat, but there are hats available, so they don't do anything. And she's selling nothing but, yes, baseball caps, which I'm not keen on, unfortunately. So, okay, we need to find a better... Oh, you know what? I kind of like the colour of that one. You know what? It'll do as a starting point, sure. But I would like a bigger, fancier hat, like... Ooh. The Freestar Collective. They're like the Space Cowboys, aren't they? That would suggest... Cowboy hats. Okay, we need to get to Freestar Space as soon as possible. And more importantly, did that's I just amazing. see over there? Hang about, that's a coffee shop. Yeah, we've definitely got these mugs already. Dear oh flipping dear. Okay, it's time to figure out how, yes, the cities work. Because the vast majority of people do not seem to have names. Which would suggest that people who do have names, are those are the people we ought to speak to. And you over there... I swear, yes. You've got a name. Hello there, George. <laughs> Me? Why, well, to be frank, I don't do much. Not anymore, at least. And that suits me just fine. Yes. I now live to collect artifacts from Earth. You see, every artifact tells a story. Even spoons and forks, which most take for granted. People laugh at me when they see I collect old earth spoons. But think about it, friend. Spoons change the course of history. 
Can you imagine life without them? Oh my goodness, George. I would never laugh at you for collecting spoons. I actually collect mugs. Okay, George could be my new best friend. Treasure everything when you have it. You never know when you may lose it. Oh, and we've got someone far more dramatic here. Another person with a name talking about how he's lost something terrible. Here, one moment, gone the next. I tell you, you must cherish everything and everyone while they're here. You never know when you may lose them. Oh, I'm getting Mass Effect 1. Your son's gone missing and you need me to go to a particular planet in a particular system to go and verify he's actually dead and bring you back a keepsake vibes. You see, I lost something invaluable. Lost it in a bet, if you must know. It was one of my most prized items in my collection. It was a gem. Priceless, no doubt. And its beauty was blinding. Life seems a little less bright without it. That scoundrel George St. George has it in his possession now. And knowing that fills me with such envy and anger. Oi, you leave George St. George alone. He's my new best friend. How cocky dare you? So, okay. It sounds, however, like you lost it in a bet. So, I mean, that's legitimate. You've just got to let it go, man. George St. George will take good care of it, all right? I know him. He's a good man. That is something I simply cannot do. I must have it back in my possession at once. St. George, like myself, is a collector of trinkets and relics from Earth. I have in my possession a plate that I'm sure he won't be able to live without. Please, would you be my hero and go exchange the plate for the jewel? I'm sure it will work. Okay, so yeah, we know Earth kind of went bad a, a century ago, though we don't know precisely what it was that happened, like nuclear war, environmental collapse... Not sure. But yeah, naturally as a result of that, anything that was from Earth is now deemed to be a very desirable antique to a great many people. Though just out of interest, why not just, you know, do the exchange yourself? Oh God, no. I could never face him myself. I'd be sick just at the sight of him. St. George would never give the gem back if I went myself. He would gain a smug satisfaction from declining the offer. Okay, I like how this is an incredibly low-stakes quest where everyone is being incredibly dramatic about it. This is brilliant. I'll do it, sure. Fantastic. Here's the plate. Come back to me when you have the gem. And please don't drop it. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Guillaume, by the way. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Lovely to meet a fellow collector of junk, Guillaume. Ah, but here we go. What precisely do you collect, sir? I collect all sorts. Gems, novelties, old earth trinkets. Anything and everything that has some sort of value, monetary or otherwise. One of my favorite possessions is a fork that was used on earth. How amazing is that? I kind of love that this guy is a big fork collector and George is a big spoon collector. So we've got the plate here. Old earth plate. Not sure what it's made of. Possibly brass? I don't know. He did say be careful not to drop it. Can I actually... No, it's a quest item. I can't drop it, then bang it on the table in front of him. As hilarious as that would be. George, my dear old friend, collector of spoons, I need to get the gem back. I'm willing to offer you this lovely, possibly brass, possibly bronze, possibly gold plate. A plate? Oh my... As in it bleeds from else? Absolutely. Without question. Here, take the gem. <laughs> that Guillaume, if he wanted his gem back so badly, he could have simply asked. The gem is worthless. Less than a paperweight. But actually, earth paperweights are quite valuable. Okay, so as it turns out, right, I love George. George is great, because apparently he's taking this nowhere near as seriously as Guillaume is. Why precisely is he acting so dramatic about all of this, though? Guillaume and I have known each other for years. Since we were both young men, he is the closest thing I have to a brother. 
And much like brothers, we quarrel. But that doesn't mean we don't like each other. I will say, however, Guillaume can be a tad over dramatic, as well as a sore loser. Don't tell him I said that. Okay, this is actually a rather sweet little mission here. So, uh, it's just, you know, uh, two old friends, one of whom is a bit dramatic, sorting out a very petty personal grievance. This is delightful. Oh, and I can see why George decided to, uh, yes, take the exchange. Because the priceless gem isn't really a gem, it's an old geode. And its value's only 12. So, uh, yes, George definitely did well out of that. My colleague has an amazing relic in his possession. A spoon recovered from Earth. Ah, oh, I'm so envious. These two are the best, I love them. Ah, wonderful. I knew George would make the exchange. He could never resist foodware from Earth. You've done me a great service today, friend. I'll be sure to never take this gem for granted ever again. Thank you for bringing it back to me. I do kind of want to, yes, break into this guy's apartment at this point, because, uh, yes, I can't help but notice, he seems to be under the impression he's got a large collection of treasures, but in fact, I suspect what he's actually got is uh, a large collection of trash just piled up in his apartment, and uh, when he says, you know, uh, he gambles with it, etc, etc, I think he just means him and George get together and play cards and trade old junk with each other, because... Okay, you two are very sweet, actually. I like you two. And that does remind me, by the way, someone did mention the bartender had lost something, and the viewpoint is... That was right here, I think. It was right next to where we started. There we go. The viewpoint, which is... I mean, bloody hell, that's a big bar. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? It is, actually. Lovely to meet you. Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new girl? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Okay, you're lovely, but you're also a bartender. And that means, yes, you probably know about rumors, missions, etc, etc. Give me the local gossip. I hear there's some sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy torn down. When I first heard about it... I thought it was a bit extreme, but really, would you want to move into that place? Me neither. And it's not like they're ever coming back. House for room, I mean. Well, at least not make nice and be all diplomatic. We all know how that went. So okay, once upon a time, uh, yeah, the snake people had like, you know, embassies, diplomacy, etc, etc. And uh, if the building's abandoned and has been for some time, I would not mind breaking in a worthy option to be available. Okay, and just like alcohol boosts charisma in Fallout, yeah, in this game, it boosts persuasion chance for five minutes. So, you know what? I've literally just arrived. I am going to buy a new arrival and then just like, you know, put it in my backpack and drink it later when I've got some speech checking to do. I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. Okay, this sounds interesting, I was just saying. Yeah, boosting your persuasion chance, that sounds good. Uh, a new mega drink, and maybe it could do that, but even more so. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with the holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Okay, so potentially I might be able to sneak in and get it, talk to security, go and get you some more, though... Okay, before we do anything else, I like the fact you could occasionally just make bad puns to people who are trying to give you a mission. So, uh, sounds like the sort of thing that could drive you to drink, Nissa. Very clever of you. Your parents must be so proud. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. Okay, the parent comment was a low blow, Nissa. It's entirely possible my parents are disappointed in me because I became a xenobologist and not a dentist. 
And yes, why am I suddenly getting the feeling that this might be a bit more complicated than you're letting on? Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? Well, you know what? I am good at sneaking. Why the cock not? God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Well, okay, this could work out nicely. You've literally just sold me some booze. Booze makes you good at persuasion. Walk in, nice and drunk, charm the guards, get the stuff, etc, etc. Though, right, Nissa, I'm gonna need more information before we actually go in. I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. Okay, so I think I might have just come up with a plan. Because when I first arrived, yes, I overheard some security trouble with those guys who just got into town, and that generated a tiny activity for me. Talk to Sergeant Yumi, so I've already got an in, like, you know, a reason to go and speak to security. So here we go, other side of the plaza, you see security, marvellous. And would you believe, yes, well guarded, cameras, security staff only, do not attempt to storm this place just yet. Play nice, be friendly. Well, hello, you hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Okay, so... I thought I was here to help you out with, you know, that scientist and that kid. But possibly I just overheard someone else talking about a job or something. I'm not 100% sure. Yes, I saw the sign outside. I didn't see the sign outside. Just play along, it's going to be fine. I saw the sign outside, sir. I would love to help you with whatever it is we're doing here. Especially if it involves me getting a security card. You did, huh? Gotta admit, I was against the sign at first. Felt cheesy, you know? Like we're hiring a dishwasher or one of those dancing clowns. But here you are. Can't argue with effectiveness. And if nothing else, New Atlantis security is just that. Effective. When we're fully staffed, that is. But we're not. Long story. And need some help. You interested? I mean, I feel like I'm definitely potentially joining the Nightmare Dystopia police right now, but I do need a security card. Uh, may as well play along. You know, I might be able to get into the back area, steal all their guns and money, etc, etc. Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask, do you have any security experience at all? Yes, I fought the Crimson Fleet like I gunned down pirates like nobody's business. It sure counts for something. I mean, you're alive. And resilience is definitely an important trait for any officer. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. Okay, that was a suspiciously easy job interview and... Did you just pay me 250 credits up front? Right, fascinating and... Uh, Okay, let's talk about... Oh, Let's maybe not talk about the friend uh, just yet. Let's figure out, yes, what MAST is. You know, MAST. Uh, the Military, Administrative and Scientific Triumvirate. Giant building in the centre of the city. Headquarters of the entire United Colonies. I really should have given you a more thorough interview. You really should, you know. That's true. So... Okay, do I now, like, work for you or something? Because if I do, am I now allowed to, like, 
go through this door. I'm going to drop a quick save just in case because, uh, I mean, I'm kind of staff. I literally just got my first paycheck from the space police, okay? That makes me a space cop, so... No one shooting me yet. This is a marvelously good start. Okay, good, 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 good. Because I feel like there's got to be some good looting to be done inside the police station. So, I uh, just... Also, there's brownouts in the well. Right, a lot of people are tossing activities at me. Maybe don't worry about all of them at once. Instead, uh, how about we just uh, find our way to the uh, armory, the lockers. Anyone got any? Oh, frontier attire. I mean, do you mean like, you know, Old West Frontier? Is this maybe my first cowboy outfit? Oh, and hello, sexy. This is precisely what I wanted. Just uh, sitting out on the bench in the changing rooms. Uh, we've got the card. Okay. Now, admittedly, I have just robbed uh, the police station. And, ooh, prison. Right, I'm guessing if I commit a crime, this is where I end up. Gotcha. So, uh, yes, we've got ourselves a nice comfy bed, bathroom, though uh, not much privacy, I'll admit. Hello there. Did you commit a crime by any chance? I'd love to have a chat with you. I have nothing to say. Ooh, Mirza, you've got a name. And also, yeah, some, like, very, very distinct eye makeup. Are you a snake person or something? Do not bother me. Okay, she said twice, like, I don't want to speak to you, don't bother me. By any chance you're willing to speak to me if I just, you know, ask you who you are and how you ended up here? I am a prisoner. Trapped by a weak people who do not kill their enemies when they should. Oh, I think you are definitely a snake person. The Great Serpent called me to fight the unbelievers in the United Colonies. But I was ambushed and my ship disabled. Now I am here. I would love to know more about the Great Serpent, but sadly I can't ask you about it. The Lodge is here in the city. We shouldn't keep Constellation waiting. Shut up, Vasco. I've got other stuff to do. I know your type. The free willing species. Must be nice. Oh, you have completely misread me, buddy. I'm a cocking scientist and occasionally petty thief. Also, hang on. Like, I've definitely got a UC mug. But I'm not sure if my UC mug has uh, Property of the United Colonies uh, written on it. Like, I think I've got, like, you know, uh, the tourist one. But this here is instead, like, you know, the uh, belongs to the cops one. Just going to be helping myself to that. Don't you worry. Just be on my way. So, okay. It's a very small police station. But the point is, uh, we got in. We talked our way past security. We got ourselves... Oh, hang on, John. Don't forget... Okay, I'm not 100% convinced by the Frontier attire. I was really hoping for, like, you know, way, way, way more bloody cowboy than that. Okay, the point is, though, we got what we wanted. I've now got the keycard. Uh, possibly, yes, I could have done this with, like, you know, lockpicking anyway. But you know what? May as well take care of this nice and easy with the proper key. Here we go. A storage point A right round the back of uh, my landing pad. So... I really would prefer you to not be, you know, hanging around. Okay, buddy. Step one, why is the area locked up? Because I'm actually a space cop, so logically, I should be able to go in and, like, you know, space investigate it. Oh, security impounded a ton of cargo and didn't have storage space for it all, so we're holding on to some of it until they can run inventory. So, you need something, or...? Yes, indeed. I kind of need to be in, though... I mean, in theory, if I came, like, you know, back at night, if I just slept until night time in my ship, he might be gone. But, bare minimum, let's try persuading this guy. Three turns, a plus one, plus two. Okay, this should be pretty simple. I hope I can trust you. So, okay, nice and easy. And then, I knew you were reasonable. All right, me, you, Emin, we could be best friends. We're not going to be best friends. George is my best friend. But, like, we're lying to him right now, using my incredible skills uh, as a persuasion expert. That doesn't mean I'm a pushover. Oh, he didn't appreciate that, and now I'm a bit worried there's only the plus ones. So, okay. I know you would love to help me, Emin. I can see it in your eyes. You don't know what you're talking about. 
I'm going to need you to clear out of here, or else I'll have to call security. Okay, we just have failed to, you know, win him over. But on the other hand, if he's just, you know, looking the other way, like, you know, we are hidden and whatnot. I mean, I've got the key card anyway, just wait for the right moment. I suspect we could just get in, get the stuff and get back out again, even without his assistance. So, okay, security guard is naffing off over there. You're just chilling out right here. Don't you mind me, buddy. That's the ID card reader. What's this thing over here, if anything? Computer. Okay. Is there any chance he can... Okay, he can clearly see me. Is it a crime to use the ID card reader, though? Because if I just, you know, put my card in here... Alright, well, he's not immediately angry at me. Just all. Is this going to be trespassing? No, no, don't, don't pay attention. Look over there, please. Okay, just get inside, get inside, and we're in. He doesn't seem to be minding that much. I mean, while we're here, steal everything. Oh, blimey! So that is, um, that's worth a lot. And also, it's crime. And they will scan me for it, but... Okay, that's that's worth a lot of money. There's the package, there's some money, there's a reactive McJibble. Don't mind me, and then just straight back out again. Good day to you, Emin. Have a lovely afternoon. So, okay, we've also got more seized cargo, but to crack that open, yeah, I would need uh, more points in lock picking. Still... I'd say my plan just worked out pretty nicely. Bluff my way into being a space cop, got myself the card, straight in, straight out, no trouble. Okay, but now I'm just curious, yes, potentially like how many alternative solutions there might be to this mission. Because I can't help but notice, with my jetpack, just in theory, could I get up top? Maybe like, you know, let myself in via the skylight or something. So, okay, go into third person. My jetpack is there. It's just invisible. Then just boost, boost, and no. Okay, that gets me up to here. I'm going to need to get to another layer up yet. So, boost, boost, boost. Okay, that gets me to here. It may be a bit flimsy, but the boost pack is still bloody useful, as it turns out. So, round to the top of this. See if maybe there's, like, you know... An alternative a way in from above or something. Doesn't look like it, though. And I'm going to be honest. I was kind of assuming this was just going to be like, you know, the edge of the map. Like, you know, giant stone walls or something. But, um... It would appear I can just walk straight out into the wilderness. And this is... Right! So this is not just a city. There is no invisible barrier or load zone between the city and, like, you know, a very large area around it. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. So, right, there's just just a bit of wilderness here. And that's kind of good, actually, because, hang on, there's something I need to try out. Not the shotgun. Instead, yes, my only legendary weapon actually has... Oh, hang on. Oh, I completely missed this. This thing's got a silencer. Okay, now this. This could actually be kind of useful, actually. Because, number one, if we're going to be taking on, yeah, just random creatures outside the city, then this is going to do bonus damage to them. Presumably, in this game, alien just means, like, you know, any creature I run into. But also, if I want to get better at sneaking, I need to do sneak attacks. And boost pack training, I need to boost jump while I'm in combat. So, how about we just go for a bit of a mosey in the nearby countryside and try and find ourselves some lovely, lovely things to murder. While also doing a bit of scanning, because scanning is nice, easy XP and presumably down the line money as well. Oh, a hello sexy. Okay, we've got wildlife. There is one apex parrot hawk. Yes, appears to have a multiple health bars, which generally means, like, important, tougher, legendary creature. I think I also just saw... Okara Snail Scavenger! 
Oh my goodness, you're adorable. I'm definitely not going to murder you, okay? You're super cute. We're just going to scan you and move straight on to... Uh, or something. Out over... Oh! Okay, that's just the parrot hawk again. In fact, I think... Oh, hang on. I think the parrot hawk is like taking on other creatures. So, okay, hang on. Let's just get ourselves, yes, yeah, some lovely sneak attacks. Take out the parrot hawk if we can. That should be bonus 30% damage. Lovely. Don't mind me. Are these sneak attacks, by the way? There might be some sneak attacks going on. Just take you out. You're legendary and important. And also, you've got friends, which could be a bit of a problem now I think about it. Everything's going to be... Okay, they're definitely just fighting each other, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are. So just go for you. That was a crit. Okay, you are... John, that one's got a fairly large amount of health, actually. I'm not sure this is this is a good idea. Like, in the slightest. And there's also corrosive gas everywhere. Okay, guys, uh, don't mind me. I just want to scan you. Okay, no trouble. All right, I'm not like that dick. Uh oh no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Okay, it's it's a bit on the right. Vasco, fire everything we have at that. Oh, blimey! Ow! 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 Okay, this is. Take it out! Take it out! It definitely. I'm the I'm the biggest problem right now. Screw you! Okay, that's that's fine. Maybe don't mess with things that are like apex though. No legendary gear, but it seems to have dropped you yeah, more loot than I might expect otherwise. Okay, back away from that mess because now we know, yeah, there are creatures and they will attack each other. So just head over to here. Hello there, herding cut ahead herbivore. So what we want to do is, yes, just get into a good position where we've got a good shot at you. And you definitely can't see me. And hidden. Boom! There we go. That's a sneak attack. Good. We've got a confirmed sneak attack. We're just... We're just taking out flipping... Yes, herbivores at this point. Oh, they're running away. I'm feeling really bad about this. Okay, that one... That one's now charging. Uh-oh. Okay, we may have... We may have... We may have a small... We may have a small... Friend. Take it out before it decides to come after me. I found another legendary. It's all fine. Everything's going to be... I've run out of ammo for my gun that's good against creatures, as it turns out. What else do I have, by the way? Ooh, Eon. I've got like 10 million bits of ammo for that. Just... Okay, now we're just chasing down a herbivores and gunning them down. And they just tried to run, and I feel bad about this again. Okay, just get up. Oh, yeah. We're getting good with the old jump pack here. This pistol is terrible, apparently. Okay, just, just gun down the... Oh, you get to regrow your health. Oh, well, lardy cocky da. Also, I think possibly you're now... Okay, you are now possibly um, charging me. So it might be time to get out the... Right, let's get out the good gun at this point. Oh, yeah, that'll flip it. Uh oh I've annoyed the herbivore. No, bad. Okay. Legendary creatures definitely drop, like, you know, way more stuff. Scan their corpses. Okay, scan the corpses and just don't tell anyone. You started shooting them all. So Vasco, we're not murder. Okay, Vasco's just decided we're murdering everything. Fine. Oh, and flip me. Oh, that tiny location we just saw in the distance. It's an automated farm. So yes, you can just like, I don't know, catch like condensation or something. And then the thing just goes around in a circle and just sprays the crops. So hence why it's circular. Because yeah, it's just got to be in a wheel around the center. Oh, that's super cool. That's, oh, hello. I kind of thought this was an automated farm. Oh, God, can you help me, please? I need to get to my ship, and I can't do it alone. We got attacked by some local predators. I managed to bunker down here, but now I have no way out. There's too many out there. I'll get mauled to pieces if I even try to make it alone. But you seem like you're capable. You up for a quick rescue? That depends how much money you've got on you, buddy. Also, you know what? Here's some medicine. I'm willing to spare it. It's fine. Then let's do this. My ship's not too far from here. I'll mark it on your scanner and we can book it together. Here we go. So set that as my active mission and by the looksy of it, it's... Sorry, when you say your ship's close by, do you mean it's literally like a hundred meters in this direction? Because it feels like it's pretty bloody close by potentially. And there's... Uh-oh. Okay, I feel like possibly... There might be more trouble here than we were. Okay, this is fine. This is, this is, this is. Ow! Not, 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 not fine. Not, not, not. 
not fine. Okay, maybe just use some med packs for myself here. Okay, we're generating um parrot hawks. Just need to get up to you and out, out. There we go. They're a little bit on the tough side. All right, on the way, try and avoid a trouble with these guys. Scan them without getting too close. And uh, yes, like, if at all possible, don't get spotted by the cocking parrot hawks. They're a little bit on the, you know, giant nasty clory side. I mean, bare minimum, yes, the creatures aren't keeping each other busy, which I absolutely love. By the way, I adore it when you see a game where, like, you know, the wildlife isn't just after you. They are able and willing to fight each other, and they generally will. So, okay, buddy. No trouble. No trouble. It says you're wary and, like, you know, not aggressive and whatnot. So how about you just stay over there and I just stay over here? It's going to be fine. Not for you, though. I think that parrot talk may be about to come in and eat you, potentially. Tiny bit further away than I thought, but that most definitely is a ship. So, you buddy, you owe me, like, I would say at least 500 caps for this, okay? Oh, and I'm good to be honest, I like his ship. Apparently, this is the Gladius, I flipping love it. Just parked over here at the comm station, so... Vasco, did he actually make it, by the way? I'm good to be honest, I kind of ran ahead, lost track of him. And Vasco's here. Did he make it to his ship without me noticing? Because I'm not 100% sure what happened to him. And... Uh, Coming into his ship. It's a bit locked up right now. We'll check in if he showed up in a second because what's way more interesting to me is, uh, yeah, he appears to have parked right next to this tower, which by the Luxie of it. Hang about, hang about, hang about. I suspect this might be a small climbing puzzle. Okay, just go, go, go. Keep on and keeping on. There's got to be some good stuff at the top of, you know, a tower climbing puzzle, damn it. And whoever lives, or I suppose lived here, they do not seem to mind me stealing their stuff. So, okay, we can help ourselves to all of this, and DG picks, etc, etc, lovely. Meanwhile, up top, you know what, I'll take some flipping frag mines, frag grenades, etc. None seems to actually be here anymore, so... Okay, I'm guessing something's gone wrong with the comm tower, system errors and whatnot, but as far as I can tell, uh, yep, simple climbing puzzle, but some good loot up top. Also, uh, okay, that guy still hasn't taken off. Oh, but you know what? That barely even matters, because uh, screw that guy who almost certainly got eaten by parrot hawks because I wasn't paying attention to him. I just leveled up anyway from my excellent work doing xenobiology. Oh, and I see how it works. It's not just my ship. I can fast travel to any location I've been to before. So that farm, I can now go to. But yes, I think I now know what I need to do. Number one, we need to top up ammo. In particular, yeah, 6.5. That's what goes in my anti-alien gun. So that's pretty... Oh, blimey, that's expensive. Okay, um... Turns out, yes, like, space inflation has done a cocking number on ammunition. Right, ammo is not cheap to buy. Shotgun is actually not so bad. I'm gonna buy myself a, yeah, some shotgun just because that seems to be by far my best weapon. Just like in Fallout 4. Early game, get a double-barreled shotgun and it murders everything. I will drop a grand buying some of that just to keep that thingy going. Number two, back to Nissa. We've got a completely not illegal package for you. Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'm not 100% sure I actually did anything wrong. Like, the police said, hey, do you want to be a policeman? I said yes, went into the police changing room, picked up a thing that was sitting out in the open there, used it to go into the room. No one seemed to mind me being in the room. Honestly, I'm not even 100% sure I've committed a crime. Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this? This was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. 
All right, so I get myself some booze, some credits, some supernova. Oh, yeah, this I will flip and take. Number three, I've now got a skill point to spend. So, okay, we are not quite ready for, yes, boost pack trading, unfortunately. That would be, yes, utilizing a boost packs on a rank one, rank two up to... Oh, expending less fuel so I could fly further. I mean, that's pretty tempting, actually. So in which case, hang on. Just take me back to the autonomous farm, given I can now just teleport anywhere I want as fast as I want. Find literally anything I can pick a fight with. I'm going to be honest, the first thing I came across is, um, yes, the Varun Litany. Which does feel a little bit like, you know, a snake person ship. Let's just, you know, motion over in this direction. Maybe like... Oh! No, that's just Vasco teleporting up around to me because he couldn't pathfind. I feel like this isn't really a ship I should be hanging out nearby to. Like... Unless it means like, you know, the people who like took on the Varun or they took the ship from the Varun or something. I feel a bit nervous about being here, to be honest, actually. Just nose on inside. I'm guessing the ship's locked up, same as we saw. It's not. Right. I'm going to suggest shotgun out just in case. Oh, I've definitely just tripped, like, some form of uh, alarm, by the way. And instead of interest, who's actually... There are people here. Like... Do I want to declare war on the Varun? I mean, you know what? This could be my new ship right here, which would be level four. No, no. Okay, back out, back out. I've made a mistake there. Level 14. It's time, it's time to it's time to cocky go. Time to cocky go. Use my boost while I'm in the fight, and that's absolutely fine. Let's let's just cocky leave. Okay, I've found a handful more Varun zealots. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get into a position where we can snipe down on them. And then we're going to start jetpacking away as fast as possible, which will count as using the boost in combat. And bang, 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 bang. Good, I'm now in danger. Time to start cocking, running, boost. And there we go. 10 out of 10. Let's cocking be off. And that means it's bloody time. Naturally, the first skill I'd upgrade would be jetpack. So rank it up. And there we go. So these days I can go... Oh yeah, I can definitely get three boosts even out of my starting boost pack. Previously I could not do that. So, uh, right. That there, that's pretty good. So yeah, I can now get... Oh, I can get on top of the... I feel like I shouldn't have been able to do that. But apparently these trees are like solid surfaces. Okay, back to the, yes, information kiosk. Because what I need to find is... Uh, yeah, the, um, the lodge. Now, where precisely is the Constellation Lodge? It's officially so unimportant, it's not listed under any of the directories. Brilliant. Here we go. Mass district, apparently. One train right here. This is how we get from area to area. Crack you open. And uh, mass district. Let's go. Marvelous. And I am not going to get distracted by Donna Rain or anybody else, okay? I am going straight for the lodge. Alright, nothing is keeping me from that lodge. Though, oh, I like your hat. So, yeah, if I just mosey on up in this direction. There was not a storm here a second ago. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Okay, so the water isn't just for show, it's also part of their power infrastructure. So, okay, ignore all of this if we're going in, yep, this direction. Nobody say any rumours about anything suspicious or anyone to speak to or anything nearby, okay? For the time being, I just need to go and, you know, take care of being the chosen one for a second. Oh, you most definitely get the, um, yeah, sense, however, that the lodge and indeed constellation in general are has seen many, many better days. Like, I like the design with the gold around the edge. You definitely get the feeling that once upon a time, this was a beautiful, beautiful building. But not any longer. It would appear to have gone to ruin at some point. So, okay. We'll get back to 
medical mask, all the rest of it in a moment, all right? First things first, we've got to do some plot. I'm so sorry I've kept you waiting for so long, Vasco. Captain Arya, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Do you really think what I'm suggesting is so outlandish? We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Don't you flipping pin this on me. All right, he's the one that showed up and cost me my bloody job. Though, yes, now I think about it. He's probably back on that moon and doing mining because that was my job and he offered to stay in my place. So, uh, right, he's a miner now and uh, I'm the chosen one. And also, yes, there were like, you know, some pirates and whatnot. But before we get to that, because I suspect that, yes, the top options are the ones uh, that move the conversation forward. Uh, I wouldn't mind a quick 101 on what precisely Constellation, like, is. Because it appears to not be doing well at the moment. Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? As I say, currently doing some mining, there was also some pirate business. It's honestly a bit complicated, actually. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Oh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here, with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? I'm gonna be honest, Walter's got my number immediately. Like, he is right. I'm definitely just after the money right now. I've got a mortgage to pay off. But honestly, if I was gonna cut and run, yes, I wouldn't do it in that ship. It's like the least valuable ship in the galaxy. And uh, yes, bright lights, music. Honestly, I think I saw a star map. But like, my character doesn't agree. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel. I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Okay. So they've got two already. By the sounds of it, Barrett touched one, suggesting one of you, though I don't know who, probably's already touched the other so uh, all right pop it in let's see what goes on that's it just like the others and to imagine we thought there were only two of them at first oh my god that's it they're reacting look at how it's coming together that energy that's arcing between them no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that none of them this proves easy that girl You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godric? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> So, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours?
I mean, if what you're saying is, do I want to now take the ship but without Indigo Protocol, meaning I could just go wherever I want, do whatever I want, I will say whatever it takes to make that happen. Okay, before we sign the contract, let's discuss terms here. What does it mean? What's expected? Arguably more importantly, how much does it bloody pay? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgement, just like the rest of us. That's an incredibly vague mission statement, so, uh, okay, basically just go out there and look at stuff. I am good at that, damn it. Tell me more about the artifacts. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Alright, fair enough, I guess I'm in. Tell me what's next and I'll be on my way. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Oh, I am well ahead of you, though. Oh, blimey. Eight grand. That's nearly 10% of my entire mortgage. Okay, I am on cocking board. You guys are generous. So, okay, we've made contact with Constellation, and by the sounds of it, first up is start figuring them out. And by the looks of it, we've got a pretty bloody large house to start exploring, too. Everybody's got their own bedroom. Obviously, the decoration, the way it's being kept is different, so... Okay, how about we call it a part there? But next time, we're exploring the Constellation Headquarters, uh, figuring out what's going on, or what we can learn about who, and then it sounds like me and Sarah are going on an adventure. An adventure that hopefully might leave me in control of a ship I can take anywhere I want to, and... Uh, Oh, as soon as that's done, that's when the real fun begins. So, join me later this week as we dive a bit deeper. Hopefully, you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Starfield. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.